Hi! In today's video, I have a microscope with me and I wanted to see what my hair looks like before I exfoliate my scalp and after I exfoliate my scalp. So I'm going to be making my own detoxifying scalp treatment in this video. This way, hopefully, after this video, when you go to exfoliate your scalp, you'll think of me and you'll just have a visual of what my scalp looked like before and after and then you can just kind of imagine what yours probably looks like before and after. <laughs> It'll be fun. So if you're a subscriber of mine, then you know what bleach did to my hair back in January. I was jet black and through a mix of events, I ended up blonde and <laughs> my hair has gone through it since then. Um, last time you saw me, I had tape and extensions. I took them out all by myself, might I add, and I was pretty proud of myself. Everyone says not to do it by yourself, but do I listen? No. That's all. I just wanted to say I took out my extensions and this is just all my hair and I chopped it off and it's back to black, so that's where we're at. All right, all right, let's look at my scalp. Oily, that is an oily scalp. There's buildup around the hair follicle, as you can see. That is oily, whoo, oily. Mmm. Okay, oily, oily. You see how I have two hairs coming out of the hair follicle? That's normal. The hair follicle opening, a lot of people have two to three hairs in each opening or in a few of them. And some even have like four to five hairs per hair follicle opening. Oh, that is so cool. It's not just a clear strand of hair. There's buildup around each strand. Look at this one. Mmm. If your hair follicle's blocked like that, it's gonna be a lot hard for it, harder for it to push through and grow the hair. But this is just because I haven't washed my hair, so. We're gonna exfoliate, and I saw that broken piece. I am, Uh-huh. Fascinating. Interesting. Looks like trees or something. Looks like a plant. Oh. So that's the before. I just put my hair up real quick. So the scalp treatment that... This is going to be annoying. So the scalp treatment that I'm using is a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm just going to eyeball this like a profesh. Oh, here I can get in. It's a teaspoon of baking soda. The baking soda is going to help remove those excess oils and it's going to balance the pH of the scalp. Next is half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Ooh, cinnamon's an exfoliant. It's going to help remove buildup as well. It also stimulates hair growth, which you know I need over here, so. And then two tablespoons of olive oil antioxidants. One. This is what it's looking like. This is what it's. And then we're just going to Mix it all up. Don't wear your favorite outfit for this. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make it easier for myself. It just eats so much easier to go in like this. So I do have a squeezy bottle. And that's what I'm just going to pour it into. And are we getting the shot? That is the question. Mm -hmm. That's how much this made. Which is, I think, enough. So we're gonna put this into the scalp and then we're gonna massage it into the scalp for five minutes. feel it it has a grainy texture even though it looks like a liquid this is very gentle of an exfoliant it's not like gonna be abrasive let's do this for five minutes let's see if I could do it I'm gonna set a timer set a timer for five minutes so I read an article this lady she bought Pantene and she went to go wash her hair and her hair started falling out and they found out that her Pantene was spiked with Nair and Nair, the hair removing cream, <laughs> if you don't know, 
Oh my god, I was like, this is why I shop online, you know, it goes straight to the warehouse from the manufacturer, nobody's touching it, less hands are on it, like, your Nair, your shampoo is spiked with Nair, what, like, what, that is just, ugh, this is the perfect reaction, I'm exfoliating my scalp, but it just happens to be the perfect reaction, because when I saw that, I felt so bad, so that's probably the worst thing that ever happened to her with her hair, my worst thing that's ever happened to me with my hair, was this January, just this whole year of a hot mess of a situation with this hair is the worst thing that's ever happened to me with my hair. What's the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Let me know. Let us all feel better about our own situations. <laughs> Tell us what's the worst thing that ever happened to your hair in the comments below. But it always grows back. There, that's, that's the positivity here. It might take 30 years, but it will grow back. <laughs> How much longer? 20 seconds! I could talk. 20 seconds, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright. So now that I massaged it into the scalp for 5 minutes, what you want to do is you just want to leave it in for 15 minutes. And then you're going to wash your hair. Style your hair as per usual, and I'll be back to see the after. Yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting for the 15 minutes to be up. Very cute. Very cute. I am back. So I left it in for 15 minutes, then I washed my hair and I let it dry for like an hour and then I blow dried it. Now it's really puffy because it's not flat ironed, it's just blow dried. But we're gonna see what my scalp looks like. My freshly detoxed, exfoliated scalp. It's better, I don't see build up anymore. Hmm. I feel like you see less oils for sure but I think I would need like a clarifying shampoo more than a detox treatment. Yeah, I feel like it definitely needs like a... I'm just not impressed. Mm -mm. Mm, nah, I'm not impressed. You could still see there's still like... I don't know. I think my scalp's pretty irritated. Hmm. I'm not impressed, no. Hmm. I do think it's better, but I do think maybe it needs to be done like one more time or like a clarifying shampoo would help. Just because I still do see a little bit more buildup. Okay, like it's better, but it's still not like a completely normal scalp, like a completely healthy normal scalp. <laughs> Oh, there's my normal scalp. Let's just stay here. Let us just stay here because, all right, I'm just gonna stay here because this is my normal scalp. Look how pretty. She's pretty. She doesn't have stuff around the hair. It's nice. The hair is just coming out of the follicle. Yeah, I would definitely want to do it again or like do a better exfoliant. Mm -mm. It definitely needs more. I was expecting more of like a miraculous difference and I feel like the difference is really minute. <laughs> this is why sometimes consistency and doing something more than once is how you get results. So fun. I, listen, these microscopes, they're really not expensive. You can get them from Amazon. I think it was like 15 bucks. I highly recommend just getting it just for yourself, just for fun. Like, you don't have to record yourself. You don't have to do anything. You should. It's fun. Record it. Send it to your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Be like, look at my scalp. <laughs> it's just so interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tell me what the worst thing that happened to your hair was. Was it as bad as like Pantene Girl or is it just something like bleach, like a bad bleach job? Do let us know down below. I'll see you in my next one.